To non-cubers, the Rubik's brand is known as a sign of intriguing, fascinating puzzles which have baffled them for over 40 years. To cubers, the Rubik's brand is known as a sign of low-quality, bad-turning cubes being very slow to innovate and being exceedingly expensive. Whatever your opinion, you do have to respect them for being the ones who introduced the original cube creating this community. The thing is, there are quite a few puzzles that they once made, but for some reason, they don't make any more. It's usually not known why, but it's a shame as these puzzles are fairly interesting. So what are some of the more obscure puzzles that they used to make? I'm not going to say that much about the Rubik's clock in this video, as it's still a relatively well-known puzzle and even a WCA event. While it was marketed under the Rubik's name, there's already so much that has been said on the puzzle that there isn't really much more I could add here. A more obscure puzzle is the Rubik's 15. This is similar to the famous 15 puzzle, where the object is to arrange all the tiles in the correct order, but in this case, you push and pull levers to move the pieces around. Two of the levers will only work if the others are in a particular position, otherwise they jam up. On the back of the puzzle, there are an additional nine tiles that can be used to make a magic square, where all the rows, columns and diagonals add up to the same number. It's quite a fun puzzle, and one that is worth getting for your collection if you can find it on eBay. The Rubik's Trimid was patented several years later. This puzzle looks somewhat like a Pyraminx, but instead of twisting layers, you actually pull off pieces and set them back down. There is a mechanism that clips the pieces into place so it remains relatively stable, and you can place the pieces in any orientation, making it very confusing. However, while it seems like it would be fun, the puzzle has one serious drawback. It's far too easy to cheat. If you get the puzzle in a position where just one piece is off, you're supposed to solve it using moves that pick up four pieces at a time, but of course you could pick up just one. As a result, this puzzle tends to be far too easy to solve and isn't much of a challenge. Rubik's shells are a very interesting puzzle. It consists of four rings in two pairs and each ring has coloured balls in them. The object, as you might expect, is to get the coloured balls back into a single ring so that everything looks nice and clean. Something rather interesting, however, is that there are three levels of difficulty. On the sides of the rings are buttons. Press the buttons, and the rings on that axis are locked into place so that, rather than moving independently, they can only move together. Once a button is pushed, it is impossible to pull it back out, short of taking the puzzle apart and pushing it back from the inside. As a result, once the puzzle has both of its buttons pushed in, it turns from relatively easy to extremely challenging, and you can't go back. Despite this, it doesn't actually matter what position the balls are in when you push the buttons, as it will always be solvable. The Rubik's brand may be hated among cubers, but they have produced many, many interesting puzzles over the years. A lot of these are worth seeking out if you're a collector, as they tend to be far more intriguing than the puzzles they release today.